Hey everybody, it is day five of the reading rush and guess what? I finished a book. Uh, yes, yeah, so I finished Eat, Pray, Love today. Um, actually, not too long ago, probably about 15 minutes ago. And um, yeah, not bad. I liked it more than I expected to. Um, the middle part, the whole stuff that happened in India was still my least favorite part of it. But um, I really liked the stuff that happened in Indonesia that was really nice. So overall, yeah, I like this one. One of the things I think I forgot to say the last time I was talking about this book is um, why I didn't really like the India part as much as some of the other stuff. Spoilers if you don't want to know what happens. Um, it's because she spends her whole time there in the ashram. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so yeah, doing like meditation and stuff. She stays there the whole time she's in India. Uh, when she went there, she was only going to stay there for like four weeks or something like that. And then she was going to go to other places in India and she was going to see other places in the country. And she never did that because she decided to stay there. And yeah, that was kind of a disappointment. So um, yeah, uh, basically you just had that one place, uh, which I mean, the same thing kind of happens in Indonesia also. She does end up going to like a couple of places other than where she's staying. But I think like the stuff that she's doing when she's in Indonesia is a little more exciting. And so I liked it better. I won't spoil the end, but uh, Indonesia is the love portion of it. So you can probably guess what happens. Uh, so yeah, Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. I liked it. And I know that there's a movie version of it, so I'll probably watch that eventually. So yeah, first book of the reading rush is done, which means I'm going to move on now and read some more of Simon, and hopefully I can get some more of this done before 8 o'clock tonight. Um, I may need to eat dinner, though, at some point. It is 6 o'clock now, so I've got two hours to read and eat, and uh, yeah, doesn't sound too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get into this one. I'm here by my window, of course. And of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the curtains and open the blinds before I start reading. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for the next little while. And hopefully I'll get pretty far in this. I still have Saturday and Sunday. I don't think I'm gonna have any problem finishing these three books and possibly the fourth book. Plus I've kind of decided that tomorrow I think I'm gonna go by the library and pick up some more books. Not necessarily for the reading rush, but just books that I've been wanting to read for a while. So yeah, and I also checked out a book on Libby um, to read. And I still have two books checked out from the library already that I need to read. I'm finally back into a reading mood. So yeah, it feels nice. Okay, I just want to say I'm so glad I picked this book to read. I'm still not done with it. I'm, I'm reading it right now. But oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. I can't. This is the one for the prompt where um, I have watched a movie that is based on the book. Uh, so yeah, I've watched the movie. I'm so glad that I've watched the movie first because I know who Blue is. Blue, the person that he's talking to that is anonymous, that he doesn't, you know, he doesn't know who it is. But he was just talking to Blue and talking about how cute he is and everything. And I'm like, you don't know it, but <laughs> this is the person you're talking about. And it's so cute. I can't. I cannot with this book. It's, oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so um, where I'm at right now, Simon has been outed to his whole school, which is not cool at all. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are taking it very well and are really cool about it. So that's good. Um, other people, so not so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to keep reading. I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say that I'm enjoying this one a lot. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. So he's just had a conversation with Blue and, um, Blue knows who he is. Blue has figured out who he is and, um... <laughs> Simon still doesn't know who Blue is. All right, so I've got about 100 pages left where I am right now. And um, this actually is thicker than it should be because it's got stuff related to the movie. So, like, it's got um, interviews with the actors and stuff like that, which I'm going to skip. No offense. I might read them after the reading rush, but I'm not going to count those as reading rush stuff. Um, so, yeah, I've got about 100 pages left, and I really want to just keep reading and finish this because it's 
getting so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. But now I'm like, what's going to happen next? Because I know what happens in the movie. And I'm wondering if it's going to be the same in the book. Because I feel like this happened later in the movie than where it is now. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I've got four chapters to go. Everything has gone wrong. <laughs> His friends aren't talking to him. Blue's not talking to him. And I want to read these four chapters. But I also want tacos. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but I want, I can't stop reading. Ah, oh, conundrum. So yeah, I'm going to try to finish this before I eat. But oh, I'm real hungry, guys. Okay, so <laughs> he just found out who Blue is. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Finally! Oh my gosh. This book is so cute. I'm still not done with it. I'm going to finish it though. Um, and then I'll have tacos. <laughs> but I, I've got to finish this. I've got to finish it. I can't stop myself. Okay, this was really cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I really like this book. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh my gosh. I, I just, that's all I can say about it. So I like this one. I just finished it. So that's two books that I have finished today. Technically that can cover five of the seven badges right there all in one day. Wow. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm done with this one. Liked it a lot. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and make my tacos and um, eat those and close the blinds and everything because somebody is moving in to, uh, I'm assuming they're moving into an apartment right now. So um, there's a lot of noise going on outside <laughs> and a lot of people walking around. So yeah, but there we go. I finished the second book of the day. So there we go. Now I'm still reading The Art of Racing in the Rain and I'm I'm not sure if I've made it halfway through or not but uh, if not I'm pretty close to halfway. So I'm going to be reading that um, probably later tonight unless I decide to pick up the fourth book that I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to read or not. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to have time to read that one. So I guess I'll pick up one of those two later tonight but it's time for tacos and then trivia with Mark. So. Yeah, that's going to be my night. Also, I'm pretty sure that I have read over 200 pages today, which is better than I've been doing the rest of the week. Well, it is already getting late. <laughs> um, late in the day. Um, I have finished my two books, and I'm not going to read uh, The Art of Racing in the Rain tonight, I don't think, um, because I've started reading this. So this was my fourth book, and I wasn't sure if I was going to get around to it or not, but since I am, I'm going to go ahead, and since I should not have time this weekend, um, I've gone ahead and started reading it, so I'm only like three pages in, so, you know, there's not really much to say about it yet, but uh, there have already been mentions of Russian wizards, so those guys are going to be coming. And the thing is, it takes place in like... Texas I think or somewhere southern I'm not really sure and so everybody kind of has um, a southern dialect and I'm reading it like that in my head everything sounds very very southern so if I start talking with a southern accent when I'm talking about this if my natural southern accent really starts bleeding through then um, yeah you can blame this book I mean, I should have guessed because Charlene Harris, most of the books that she writes, um, well, a lot of the series that she writes are Southern. So there's like Aurora Tea Garden takes place in like Georgia. And of course, Sookie Stackhouse, all of those, the True Blood stuff that takes place in Louisiana. So I don't know if she has one in Alabama or not, but it's all like around the South and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start reading this. I'm going to read it probably until I get ready for bed and uh, then I will come back and I will give you guys my page count for the day. We'll see what I got up to. It should be pretty high. It's not even midnight, but I'm going to bed. I read 295 pages. I almost tripled my day one number, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I can barely keep my eyes open so I'm going to bed. Tomorrow is day six 
It's a Saturday. I don't really have much to do, so we're gonna get a lot done. I can feel it. So I'll see you in day six.